so pigmented beautiful smooth amazing just off the swatches i cannot wait to use this on my eyes hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for clicking on my video so today we are filming one of my favorite types of videos yes it is a haul and this one i am so excited about and it's probably going to be long because she is eyeshadow palette heavy like yeah <laughs> yeah y'all know eyeshadows are my favorite things and i think i had been doing good for a while not buying them and then i lost my mind so we're gonna go through everything that is in this basket but before we do if you're new i would love to have you join the family so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time i upload we do a lot of hauls we do hair, nails, makeup, and a little bit of fitness on this channel. So everything related to beauty, you'll find it here. If you want to see what I have picked up in this collective haul, this is mostly, if not all, there's some mainstream, but there's a lot of indie brands in here too. Stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I have no idea what order I want to do these. I kind of want to save the palettes for last, but then I kind of want to do them first. I got to get my wipes ready. I got to get my mind ready because listen, I'm going to try to keep everything in order. So let's start with Ace Beauté and let me make sure I have everything together. I think I showed a... I showed something that showed that I bought this palette, but I realized I never actually like, did I show this already? Y'all, I really don't remember. So if I did, forgive me, cause list, I put stuff in a bin and I wait to film it. Anyway, if I did already, then this is not new. None of this is not new, but the rest of the stuff is. The stuff from Ace Butte is not. This is the Palettopoly palette. I feel like I showed this already because I remember talking about the game. I have not used this yet. Haven't played with it. Haven't swatched it. So this is not new. You guys have seen it. I just want to show the palette real quick because I swear I'm getting deja vu right now. But I just love the concept of this and how they have the game so you can have fun with it. They also have some stuff to teach you. So I thought that was very cool. I don't know why I put this back. Like I have not shown it because I'm really having deja vu. This is so pretty. I haven't touched it. It is not swatched or anything. But just look at how gorgeous and deep this is. Y'all. I low-key want to bring this upstairs with me because I feel like I could do just some quick little throw in the crease and go for work. But then spice it up. I would not play the game. I don't think I would. But I just have to swatch a couple of these this purple shoulder pads oh what is this why did that move like that hold on i'm too close you can't see there's a legit dent in there i tried to like swatch that and it is i don't know what kind of shit is that a cream are they all like that no this one's not as bad okay i don't know what's happening Hmm, this shade up here. That one's not doing it either. I don't know what's up with that shade, but that's just a few of the shades right there. Back it out the light so y'all can see. So foily and pretty, and that purple just looks so deep. Oh, I love when they're like true to color like that. Oh, that is gorgeous. That's that yellow shade. Kind of looks, no, it's not a glitter, but ooh, that's pretty. Oh, and that one's a duochrome? That's, she's shifting a little bit. I don't know what it is, but yeah, those shades are gorgeous. So I'm sorry if I have shown this in another haul video, forgive me. Clearly I need to be more organized, but yeah, that's that. This palette is beautiful. And if you have not picked it up, I think you should. I think they're having sales frequently or you can find coupons, I don't know, but I love Ace Beauté. Their palettes are always gorgeous, super pigmented, and definitely worth the money. Also from Ace Beauté, I picked up the Aurora palette. 
this color story just spoke to me like you would not believe when I saw it. And I was like, I just... I don't even know when I'm going to use this palette, but I'm a very visual person. So if you put together something in pretty packaging and make it look beautiful and cohesive to me, I'm going to want it. Even if I have all these shades already, I'm still going to want it in this palette because it's all together right here for me. So this is what happens when you buy stuff and then you don't use it and then you get to open. It's like I just went shopping all over again. This is so pretty and I feel like some of these shades look a little similar to the last palette but it doesn't matter because this one's smaller and I could possibly travel with it. But y'all know how I am. Purple is my favorite color despite all the other colors that... Oh, and I see that purple does look very, <laughs> very similar to the other one. So this is Wistful, the purple. Is this the same... I feel like that's not as, I don't know, it's close. It doesn't matter. This is that Nimbus shade at the bottom, cool tone brown. And this is that kind of burgundy red, shy, chi, I don't know. And then this is that pink. So, so pretty. And again, super, super pigmented. When I'm swatching these, I'm not digging my fingers in it because I don't want that much pigment on my hand. It's too hard to get off when I'm showing these swatches. So I love when they show up like that and you don't even have to do a lot. I always want my eyeshadow palettes to be overly pigmented because it may be harder to blend out, but I don't like when I have to keep packing it on and packing it on and packing. You get fallout that way and I just feel like a lot of times my looks tend to be a little more messy. So something like this, right up my alley. Next from Ace Beauté, I picked up one of their lipsticks. This is their Pout Perfect Lipstick. I think I just showed this stuff whenever I did a quick little shorts video. I'm thinking, but I feel like I remember talking about the game. But I love the packaging of this. You pull it out like this, and then look at that. How gorgeous that is. This is in the shade Sincere. This is not a liquid lipstick. This is a bullet li lipstick. So that is what it looks like. Super gorgeous packaging. It is plasticky, but I still think it's really pretty. And then this is the lipstick right here. It is a nude and she is gorgeous. Like I feel like... Yeah. That's kind of what I needed for this look, but I had a goal in mind that I was doing, so I had to stick with what I had, but gorgeous formula. This is very creamy, gorgeous shade. I had never tried any of their lip products and I love the packaging of this. So I was like, you know what? I think this is the time to go ahead and do it. So that is a gorgeous shade. I also picked up a pair of their magnetic lashes. This is from the palette Opoly set. And these look pretty wispy. They're not anything super big or dramatic. So I thought these might be cute to wear when I'm doing makeups that makeup looks that aren't really big and bold, like just maybe throw in my crease. I rarely ever do that, but I feel like something this small should be pretty easy to do. And I just wanted to try it. These are magnetic that I have on right now. I will do a magnetic lash so fast because it's a lot easier than waiting for glue to be tacky, but not too dry, but not too wet. Like this is a lot easier to do when you're in a rush. So. If you have trouble with lashes, try Magnetic. Next, I picked up some stuff from Clarity Cosmetics. Now this, I actually ordered this back in February. We are in July right now. And this came in about a month ago. So this stuff's been sitting for a little while. But I picked up a blush, a bronzer, and some other stuff. And an eyeshadow palette, of course. So the blush is their Cashmere Pressed Blush. And this is in the shade, no shade name, Extra Shot Please. And I picked this one up because it's like a red orange kind of shade, like super bold and bright. Same kind of packaging. The packaging does feel very inexpensive. But when I tell you this shade right here, I feel like this is the perfect burnt orange red for summer. It would probably look good on my cheeks right now, but I have enough blush. Oh, this is so pigmented like I barely swirled my finger in that and look at that 
this shade, like I'm, this is the shade. Like if there was anything, I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. This, woo, I almost dropped that. This color and this pigment, it makes me want to pick up more from the brand, but I know I don't need more. So I'm trying to not overdo it. Like get one that you like and just be good with it. But when you get something that good, you want more. So we're going to try to stick with just one. I also picked up their bronzer. This is the Cashmere Pressed Bronzer in 100 Degrees. Let's see. Same exact packaging. And this is the shade right here. So I don't remember. She looks pretty deep. I'm going to put her right here. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful bronzer shade. Oh, I like that. Not too red. I feel like I could add some of that right now, but I'm going to behave. Not too red. It's a very neutral shade, and I think it could be built up. That's going to be gorgeous. Those two shades together, I feel like, are a match made in heaven. This next product I just threw in to be able to meet shipping requirements. Y'all know we would rather pay for another product than pay for some shipping, or at least that's just me. I picked up their Stick To It Foiled Eyeshadow and Glitter Primer. I'm not going to open this. I'm guessing this is like the Too Faced Glitter Glue and NYX. Or, yeah, what is NYX ones called? I don't know, but whatever. So I picked up this just to meet my requirements. I also got one of their liquid lipsticks. Yes, this is in the shade Praline. Now it does say that it expires in 12 months. Like bold as day on the top says that. So I'm like, oh, I don't know about that because we don't usually, and then it says it on the bottom too. But this is such a gorgeous, nudie, brown shade. I feel like, I don't know if y'all remember one of my videos, I was looking for a nude to use my most expensive face. And all my nudes were pink. And I was like, this is not what I want. So I tried to make sure, well, <laughs> I don't know what my deal is with pink. Let's put her right here. Is that pink? <laughs> apparently I have a type and I feel like that looks a little pinkish that's that's my shades though like I'm a creature of habit yeah she's a little pink I feel like it's gonna go with the blush kinda right here I don't know yes I feel like those go together y'all know I'm a finesse it and make it work so we're not even gonna worry about that but I also love this shade I got on my lips. So I got a, a beigey nude and this is a pinkish one. I also picked up one of their lip glosses. This is in the shade Butter Pecan. Same exact packaging. And at first I was like, did I pick up two lip liquid lipsticks? But this is definitely, definitely a beigey. See, this looks pink too. Oh, Barbara. Look at that, y'all. I swear I'll be picking up browns and they still look pink. That's cute though. I ain't putting it on right now, but that's cute. She still looks pink though. I think I just have trouble. Like I see it on the website and I'm like, oh, let me get this one. It looks nude enough and it's like a beigey nude instead of a pink. And then I think it's not gonna look right and I gravitate back towards my pinks and we end up with that. But I think this shade would be super pretty with a brown. And we can make it lean a little beigey as opposed to this pink. So we can make it work. The whole reason I placed the order to begin with, when I saw this palette, Chocolate Seduction, I was like, listen, I already know I have a lot of nudes. I don't care. I want to try this. I have, again, it's the presentation. Oh, and it smells like chocolate. I showed this in a short, I do remember that, but she has not even been swatched. Look at how pretty that is. This is like a perfect chocolate girl's chocolate dream. There's a pressed glitter in here, which I never use glitters. I don't know the last time I used a glitter, but these shades up here are like the perfect, if you wanna just do a matte look, but then all the rest of these shades are shimmers or Foils, I got to do it. Caramel Orgasm. Oh my God. Look at my finger. Like that is wild. Okay, we're going to do Lick and Nibble. 
They ain't playing with these names. Oh, jeez. That is super yellow. Let's do chocolate lollipop, because if you love... Oh, these feel so buttery smooth. I got to do a matte. Let's do bite me. I'm not playing with that glitter. <laughs> I don't feel like making a mess. So those are a few of the shades. Now, where am I going to put these since I just did that? Okay, so this is Caramel Orgasm. Mm, mm, mm. That is so pretty. This is Lick and Nibble. Okay, that one's not the same. So you see that's a different formula. Still a shimmer, but not as foiled as that one. Then we have Chocolate Lollipop. A smoky eye with that? Come on. And then Bite Me. Died. Died. I just want to see. I got to see what this guilty pleasure looks like because that is a super yellow gold. Well, now I want to see. Okay, I want to see all the mattes. Ooh, chocolate eruption. That is gorgeous. It almost looks like a green gray. Okay, and let's see. I just have to see guilty pleasure. Oh my goodness. I don't like yellows like that, yellow golds, but if you do, y'all, I don't even know if they still have this palette. If they do, you need to grab it because this, this is flaking everywhere. Like I'm seeing it flaking and falling in my face. So this might be one of those shades. Crap, I put something else over it. Anyway, that might be one of the shades you need the glitter glue for, but these so pigmented beautiful smooth amazing just off the swatches i cannot wait to use this on my eyes up next i placed my first order with nomad cosmetics and i am so excited y'all know what it took right okay there's still another palette i want i think it's called it's royal something i don't remember the name of it but it's the one with the duo chromes in it i'm waiting for a sale i can't i ended up getting a coupon or something was on sale and then I had a coupon. I don't know. I didn't pay full price for these, but almost. But I just had to. So I picked up the Hudson Valley palette and the Okavango Safari palette. I knew I wanted the Safari palette, but I was like, I want one of the other palettes that is just one of their regular pressed pigments because the reviews I saw for the Safari palette said that the shadows weren't as pigmented as their other shadows. So I was like, I want to experience both. I don't want to just get one and then not think it's great and it kind of leaves a bad impression on me. So the Hudson Valley palette, I knew the color story. I knew the color story was going to be right up my alley. And I was like, yep, we got some cool tones, we got some warm tones, got some greens, not too shimmer heavy, although I love my shimmers, but I just felt like this was a really good starter palette for what I like. I'm going to swatch these shimmers real quick because this is legitimately my very first experience with the brand. And I've seen so many reviews and so many people talk about how good they are. So this is the top shade Corn Maze. I love that that's more green than it is. It's green in the pan, but I feel like it's coming off like super neon kind of yellow. This is Foliage Trail, and then this last one is Leaf Peeping? Yeah. So I love that these are all very different, but you can wear any of these with whatever look that you decide to put together. So we're just gonna swatch a few of the mattes because like I said, first impressions and bed and breakfast is calling me. So this is the we're gonna swatch bed and breakfast, and then probably this red, cause you know, we just have to see. And then I wanna see what this shade looks like here. Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market, apple picking, and bed and breakfast. Ooh. Okay, definitely pigmented and showing up the way they look in the pan. Oh, okay, I picked up too much of that, so something fell off, but Ooh, 
let me find out if this is about to be one of my new favorite brands. Because the way that just swatched, most of the time, mattes will start like, this is so smooth and so opaque. You do not see my skin through there. That is wild to me. Apparently, I've been sleeping, and now I'm woke, and I have this palette, which I just kind of was like, if I have to pick one, this one is the best color story for what I like, but, oh, I got eyeshadow everywhere, Lord. <laughs> but, y'all, this, I cannot wait to do a look with this. Let me know if you want me to do it on camera so you can see true first, first impression as I'm using it. I'm probably going to do it anyway, but comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. So let me know your thoughts if you've tried it. What do you think about the palette? Do you want to see it? The next one is the Okavango Safari. Y'all already know. I don't know what it is. Green eyeshadow has always been one of my favorite things to do. This packaging is completely different. It's like a velvet kind of. And then these shades... What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Barbara in a palette. If it ain't purple, it's this. And we already know. Let me get myself together to do some swatches. I've never been a big fan of the swirly kind of shades. So I'm trying to make sure this mirror doesn't blind you. This is a swirly shade here. This one's a swirly shade. I think that's it. And then this one too, just because it has the darker shades of green. So let's see what those look like. We're going to do the green one first. Nile Crocodile. Gorgeous. Migrating Zebras. Ooh, I did not expect that. Roaring Lions. Y'all. Migrating Zebras is this. So in the pan, it looks like a zebra. This is this shade right here. Baby, what is on my arm that won't come off? Y'all, I feel like I look bruised. Oh, that's that red shade. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Okay, let's do these over here because I feel like I'm going to swatch them all. So this is Nile Crocodiles. Gorge. This is Migrating Zebras. Yes. And then this is Roaring Lions. Love me a good bronze. I don't love yellow gold, but a bronze, I will do it. I will do it all day. I want to see, since I just swatched that shimmery brown in Chocolate Seduction, I want to see what Mighty Buffaloes looks like because it is also... Oh. Y'all, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Oh, getting too excited. Okay, let's see. Leaping Lechwis? I don't know what that is, but let's see what she looks like. She looks a little glittery. That's pretty. Like, that's something I'll wear to work on my lid. Not even a question. Let's swatch a couple mattes. We'll check the green, of course, because we need to know details. I don't understand. And maybe people had the experience of using the other shades first. So when they compared to this, they felt like these weren't great. But I mean, I feel like you got to look at each palette on its own and figure, determine like that. Like, I think these shades are gorgeous. I think the pigmentation is there. Like, what y'all want? I don't know what's happening now. That is this a, hold on. Okay, never mind. I thought one of the mattes had sparkles, but that was just fall out from one of the others and then we're gonna check this darkest shade in here honking hippos and see I love how those are two completely different shades this is a gorgeous palette to me and I'm glad I picked it up because some people were like oh it's not my favorite palette from them and I was just like I don't understand why I'm I have a different palette I'm about to show y'all on my eyes right now but I'm wondering I'm gonna do a side by side because I feel like they are probably going to be similar. So let's move to that because y'all already know I had to pick up the Natasha Denona. No, no, I can't. I'm already in the palette. Natasha Denona Yucca Palette. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I filmed a look using this palette. I did two looks, 
where I just kind of showed application. I didn't really do the full look and then I did a full look with this one. That's a lot of work. And I was doing a full face and I was just like, I'm not about to do all my eyes without my face being done. So this is what the palette looks like. Y'all can see, I put a dent in her. I tried to use most of the shades. So this is what I have on and this is what's on my lid right now. This is on the outer which looks a lot more gray on my eyes than it does here in the pan. I like this palette. Originally, when I did the swatches, the swatches of these mattes don't touch what I did in Hudson Valley or what I just touched in Clarity. I'm going to tell you that right now. So if you want really good quality and it's not just like mainstream. I learned that indie brands, sometimes they just do it better. They do. And I have found some of the brands that do. So I will say that I feel like the mattes that I just swatched in the other palettes gave better payoff than the mattes I swatched in here. It took a lot to build these up, but you did end up getting the color payoff. I'm not disappointed that I got this palette. I love it. I love greens. You don't have to twist my arm for me to buy a palette that has green in it, but just comparing it even to what I just swatched from Nomad, maybe I need to do a comparison video because I feel like Nomad, Nomad might knock it out the park. Also from Natasha Denona, because they were having a sale, I picked up the Star palette. I picked this one up because it was, I forgot how much off, almost 50% off, something crazy. And I only have, so I have the Leela palette and I have the Sunset palette. Those are the biggest ones I have. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this one just because it's on sale and this is one of the more popular ones. And I also felt like these shades were pretty wearable so I could get some good use out of this. Now, will I ask the question with all the palettes that I have? Who knows, but y'all know my intentions. <laughs> my intentions are to get a lot of use out of them. So this is not a new palette. I don't feel like I should, I kind of want to just swatch that blue green. Ooh, that shows better than I thought it would. Oh my God. I feel like palettes that have had this usually don't show up this much. So that makes me happy. That's the main reason why I got this palette. I ain't even gonna lie. And I would wear all of these shades. So I had this upstairs with me. I've tried it out. It's Natasha Denona formula. I love it. And I'm glad to have added it to my collection. I did go ahead and pick up a couple other things. I picked up her new concealer. This is the High Glam Concealer. I got mine in the shade NY12. This was so hard to pick out. And I was like, you better get it right. Actually, she looks a little, oh, she might not be light. Um, because I don't do, like, I'll bring something back to Sephora and Ulta quick, but dealing with brands, buying directly from them, I feel like I always end up just stuck with it. And I know you could bring it, send it back, but I just never know what the return policy is. I don't do my research. I just end up keeping it. So let me see what this shade is looking like. I think that's a good shade. She's not too yellow. We know I don't like yellow. She's a little bright, but I think this is gonna work really well, especially since I'm losing my tan and a lot of the new foundations I bought are darker. I can help lighten them up, but this is supposed to be brightening and hydrating, crease proof and a serum concealer. So I have not worn it yet, but this will be coming up in a trying new makeup shopping my stash video. I also got one of her lip pencils, which I have never tried before. This is the I Need a Nude Lip Crayon, and this is in one of her new shades, four and a half NB, four and a half Luna. It is a brown, because I'm not buying nothing else but a brown. And is she retractable? She's not retractable. Come on. Am I the only person who loves that? I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like retractable because I want to sharpen it. It sharpens when I put it on my lips. This is what it looks like. I think that is such a gorgeous shade of brown. It's not too dark. So I feel like I could wear it when I don't really have a lot of makeup on and just put a gloss with it and she will be cute. But super creamy formula. I just feel like sharpeners are a waste because you lose a lot of product when you're sharpening it. That's my main reason for not liking them. 
And who wants to carry a sharpener? Up next, we have some Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place had a sale and their blushes were 30% off and it included the new ones. And I had to jump on it because I swatched these in Ulta and I was like, oh, I'm gonna just use my 350 coupon. That's not enough. I need more money off and I got it. So I picked up three blushes because I couldn't remember. <laughs> I couldn't remember which shade I loved in the store and then I picked up a highlighter and then I picked up a powder blush set. So we'll start off with the liquid blush. This is Perky Poppy and these are probably going to look similar because I knew it was either Perky Poppy or Lily Love. But this is what it looks like and she's a cute little reddish burgundy I don't feel like the color description on the website was very accurate I feel like that would be a gorgeous lipstick so so pretty and then the second shade I got Lily Love was I think this was the one that I was like yeah this is it this is the one where I was like I need this shade this is like my terracotta always love a shade like this oh. okay good because i thought these shades were a lot closer in color than they are so that makes me feel very happy that i did not buy two of the same almost the same product you can see clear difference on those shades thank you baby jesus and then i also picked up coral rose i wanted to try that super pink one that everybody has been gushing about and they did not have it it was sold out. This is what this one looks like. I feel like she looked a little different on the website. So let's see. I don't even think I swatched this one in the store. Ooh, that might be pretty though. Oh yeah. That is a gorgeous shade. So yes, all of these are very different. I've actually been reaching for liquid blushes. Like when I get ready in the morning and I don't want to do a lot, I'll put a couple dots of that and just blend it out. And I feel like it's gotten to the point now where these feel just as easy to use as a regular blush for me. So I think I used to be intimidated, but not anymore. Um, I also picked up one of their new liquid highlighters. This is in Ivory Light. Whew. Okay, so I feel like the shade that was deeper than this was gold, and I don't like gold. So it was either this one, I feel like this is kind of giving flaunt from Rare Beauty. Maybe a little bit, maybe she might be a little too light. Where are we going with you? I'm going to put her on this side. Oh, she's light. I mean, it said ivory. I thought it was going to be champagne. It's giving champagne a little bit, but that is foiled. Let me try to blend it out and see what it's looking like. Oh no, that's a great shade. Yeah, that's what I like. Oh yes, that is what I like. And it's not too crazy. Okay, happy about that. I was a little worried. I picked up one of their setting powders. This is the I Am Magic setting powder, powder in the shade Sahara. This says, I don't know if it said it was for light. It's not translucent. Why can't I talk? Because I'm hungry. I've been filming since four o'clock. It is eight o'clock. I know it's not translucent, but I'm still kind of hoping I can use it as that. So... Ooh, no ma'am. That will be Flashback City. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that. That was wishful thinking on my part because I saw that they had a banana looking shade, but it looked super yellow. And I didn't want to get that one, but I'm going to still try this. Last thing I picked up from Juvia's Place, this is their Blushed. Rouge volume four so this is the one with that hot pink in it i told y'all i wanted to try a hot pink and i told y'all i was gonna try it from juvia's place because i refused to buy dior not in that shade now the new dior shades i'm waiting for the sephora sale let be very clear about that i'm not paying full price for that but there are two shades there's one that looks like it could almost why well, can't i open this almost be a bronzer kind of shade and then there's one that looks like my very favorite terracotta kind of shade so i will be picking 
one or two of those up. But I just had to see what the hype is about. Everybody keeps talking about this neon pink shade and how good it looks. So there she is. I can't even imagine putting that on my face. <laughs> okay, the top pink one, I could. This bottom pink one, like that's not, what, what would I do with that? I literally got this one for that other pink one. Wow. Yeah, see that I can get behind. Maybe if I mix them, I don't know, to tone it down or something, but that light, light pink one will probably never get used. But this darker one, I feel like that's going to give me the vibes of the Dior one and all these other versions that have come out. And then last but not least, I have some brushes. And I don't know the last time that I hauled some brushes, but I got completely sucked in. Instagram got me. This is from the brand Rose and Ben Beauty. I started following their Instagram because Rose, I forgot her last name, I think it starts with an N, is always showing different tips and tricks for how to apply makeup, how to make it last, doing all these exotic, beautiful looks. But she's always talking about these brushes and how good they are. And so I was like, you know what? I give up. I'm going to try it. So they had a sale for 10% off. And then I signed up for emails or text and got another $10 or 10, another 10% 10 off, something like that. I think so. Yeah. So I picked up their complexion brush set. This was not cheap. For three brushes, it was $112. I think $120 when it was all said and done with taxes. But I picked up, this is the complexion brush, which is the contour. So this is what it looks like. And I need to check because I don't remember if these are synthetic or real hair. I feel like for the price, this should be real, but I don't know. It says this is for bronzer, pressed or loose bronzer, contour, and highlighter. So haven't tried that one yet. Then she also has a foundation brush. This is what got me because watching her do her tutorials and like showing how this brush does not pick up a lot of your product and how easy it blends everything out. I use this today on my face. I don't know if I just had a damn good makeup day or it was the brush or it was the um, <laughs> primer or the foundation or what. But when I tell you, I feel like everything just went on so smooth. I do feel like I used less product. And I feel like it did not seep into the bristles like my other brushes do. Like it's not deep in there. So what she said was true. I'll give it that. I think so far what I used, just that brush, I think it's going to be worth it. I then did the rest of my face and forgot about the other brushes. This is the blush brush. And I did use this one. No, did I? Yes, I did. Um, the thing about this one, the way it was advertised was that you can use this going back and forth between cream and powder blush, and it's not gonna mess your application up at all, which I thought was very genius because I don't like washing brushes that much, so I just use it anyway. But I use this today on liquid and powder, and like I said, I feel like my face came out flawless today. So I don't know if it was the tools or everything that I used, but I have, I feel like I had an amazing makeup day. This is what it came out. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment below. Let me know what you want to see first. I know it's going to be eyeshadow. Tell me which one because I'm too excited to dive into all of them. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!